guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another one of our vlogmas days. I hope you enjoyed the past few so far. Today's is going to be Christmas gift DIYs or just decorations that you could do. So let's get on to the video. You are going to need some strips of green and red paper. And I've cut them out as even as I can. I've already pre-cut them, um, just so I wasn't taking up time. And you are gonna be making the classic countdown to Christmas, um, like land, garland land, you can put it on your tree, or you just take one off every time a day comes to an end, or the start of your day to count down to Christmas. So I'm gonna take my first piece, and I'm gonna take some double-sided tape, And I'm just going to go ahead and set a piece of the double-sided tape on to here. And then I'm going to just wrap the edge around to make a circle. It doesn't always have to be even, but that's your start. And I'm just going to alternate colors, red, green, red, green, until I finish. And so there's 23 days of Christmas left while I'm shooting this video. That's how many I'm going to have on here. So for this next part, you're going to just loop it through and set it on. Days. Okay, guys, so for this next gift, this is not a hack or a DIY, oh, it's a DIY, but it's a gift. So for this one, you're gonna need olive oil, around a fourth cup of sugar, you're gonna need some food coloring, a tablespoon, a fork a bowl, and whatever scent of essential oil or whatever scent you want to use for this. So you're going to start taking the fourth cup of sugar and putting it into your bowl. And you're just going to take your fork and make sure all of the sugar is like the same, like braided. That's what you're doing. Olive oil. this next you're going to add your food coloring so i'm going to use blue i'm not going to use a lot of it but i will use some of it i just put two drops of it in and so now it's got this nice blue color and next i'm going to add my essential oil in. i'm going to be using some cinnamon essential oil see how I like the smell of it and see if I need to add more. And now all you have to do next, okay, so for the lip scrub, I'm going to put it into this little container. It's like an old spice bottle container that I'm reusing for this. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and take a spoon now and 
scoop it into the container. Last scoop. And there you go. It's soft. I will link everything for this recipe down below. So for this next gift, I'm going to be making something that I have made in the past. And so I made it, I think when I was in kindergarten, I made one or tried to make one like two years ago. So I'm going to try it again. And so this is what it looks like my kindergarten year. So it's like a little candle holder that's got some sparkles and a ribbon. And then here's my one from like two years ago. So I'm going to attempt to make something along the lines of that. And so I've got some glue and I don't know how much I'll need. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush and like paint it on. I've got some water for if I need to do like paper mache. And of course I have my tissue paper. I've got red and green. So let's go ahead and get started. squares is maybe how small you fold your sheets so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut and then I'm gonna take the strips and cut them again I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open the glue bottle and I'm gonna take my paintbrush and like Try. And I'm just gonna paint thin layer. I think this is how you do it. I do it differently every single year that I do this. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some squares. And so I'll take the red one. And you'll just keep going like that. And I'll probably add some more water into them as it goes, or as I go on. Just like make them a little wet. Just have them touch the water. And then, so I'll create like a cool effect. So I've got all of it finished. I'm just gonna go over it one more time with the glue. And I actually figured out towards the end to kind of do like lines like this, but I'm gonna go over it one more time with the glue just to make sure everything sticks. I've got some green glitter because there's not a lot of green on here. I've got a paper towel because I'm gonna to set this on the paper towel while I do this. Just take the glitter. I'm just gonna kind of And now we're going to set it aside to dry. Now what I would probably do is put another coat of glue over this just to make sure the sparkles stay on. But you can see how it just kind of shimmers. And now we're just going to take some of the red ribbon that we have here. I pre-cut a spool. Um, take the ribbon and you're gonna wrap it around the jar a few times. So about twice. And then you're just gonna tie it into a nice little bow. off but not all of it and then you're gonna take your scissors and you're just gonna it's optional but you can curl the ribbon so now you've got your nice little candle jar with your little bow and your curled ribbon and you can just put the candle right inside light it and there you go One or two hot chocolate packets, and this can be with or without marshmallows, and plastic bag or a piping bag. 
So you're gonna start with your plastic bag or whatever type of bag you choose, but preferably clear. There's different variations that you can do this to. You're gonna open it up and you're gonna take at least one of the packets and you're gonna just do one for sizing. Now you can take regular hot chocolate and put marshmallows on top or like peppermint or however you wanna do this. Um, I'm just gonna take the packet as it is and you are just going to open the packet And you're gonna put the bag, oh, bag, oh, bag kind of on its side, and you're gonna dump it in. Now you can either keep it like this, or put in one more pack like we're going to do. So we're gonna open up the other pack, and we're going to again tilt the bag on its side okay and now you're just going to like you're going to seal the bag make sure almost all of the air is out but still some in and you're gonna twist the bag like this. And so like, sometimes you can add reindeer antlers and googly eyes and like a red nose, but this one's going to have red ribbon tying the top of it. So you're gonna take your ribbon and you're just going to cut a piece. <laughs> gonna go ahead and make the two ribbons meet in one place and you're just gonna tie a little bow around it so now you get this and you can cut off your little extra pieces of ribbon on the side and you can curl this ribbon too if you'd like and then so you don't have this little extra piece hanging off you're gonna go ahead and open to let the air out you're gonna move your bow out of the way and you're just going to Cut the plastic or whatever you're using. To make it just its own little packaging. And so this is where you go ahead and add the googly eyes and the antlers on. So now we've got a package that looks like this with the little bow and the hot chocolate and the marshmallows are inside. So just take your mug. I have a Christmas Starbucks mug. You can just go ahead and set your hot chocolate inside and maybe one or two other little goodies. And then you've got your little present. Mm -hmm.